So since the release of Mayhem 2 and the induction of Mayhem 10, where all our beautiful farmed items can now drop even higher on that damage scale, I've decided to put together a list of amazing high damage weapons I think you should be seeking out from that Mayhem 10 mode. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like, it really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So Mayhem 10 introduced us to a set of the most powerful weapons in the game. It's just a farming part which can be the pain. Today I bring you a list of 10 weapons I have which surprise me damage number wise and I believe you guys should indeed seek these out. With a couple of additions to new legendaries to the game too which are just too good to ignore and leave off this list. Ok so let's get into it people. And in at number 10 we have my current favourite sniper in the game and that's nothing other than the Kray Katoa. Now the Kray Katoa is a sniper which drops from the Rampager up on the Forgotten Basilica, offering incendiary only and it's a charged Maliwan sniper which hits like a truck. Now yeah, one would argue there are better snipers in the game. That's fine in your opinion, this one though for me just ticks all the right boxes for my playstyle. It has a crazy fire rate, it's super powerful. A great magazine size, I mean you just can't go wrong with it. Now this was a beast before the induction of Mayhem 2.0. Now it can drop guys, offering 33k damage or even higher. So it's one of the most powerful snipers in the game, and DPS wise I'd probably say it is the most powerful in the game. Now for this spot and this video I only had room for one sniper. People would probably say this spot should have been given to the Sandhawk, and I do understand your point. But for me, the Krakatoa is the better and more consistent weapon. So dropping now up to 35k damage guys, this is one you should be seeking out. Ok so moving on people and next up we have nothing other than the House Shock. Now the House Shock is a Maliwan pistol which drops offering shock and incendiary damage with every variant, which you can switch between. It drops from Gigamind upon the Meridian Metroplex and it's a pistol which in my opinion is a must get because I also think everybody overlooks this thing, it has a massive fire rate, a giant magazine size, it's accurate, great handling, feels snappy and mounts all on Mayhem 10 and people now it drops offering anywhere around at 5k damage times 2, so that's 10k per shot, no 2 bullets consumed per shot either and given how quick this thing fires and bullets ricochet the element not in use, this thing utterly shreds everything. Now the background gameplay you guys are witnessing with all weapons is what they do on Mayhem 10 by the way. Build is my Zane Winter Soldier 2.0 build, which if you're interested in you'll find linked within that video description. So yeah guys, the Hell Shock is even more of a beast now than it ever was. And those who were previously fans of this thing, you've probably already got it by now. Ok so let's move on. And in at number 8 is the only epic on this list and that is the Protuberance. Now this is a weapon we have all, well most of us, have known about since the very start or near that. This world drop epic is usually seen within the slaughter shaft and can drop in many different variants, including variants which are real low damage wise on paper. This Mayhem 10 version though is quite the opposite, as you can see on paper this thing is in fact a powerhouse, dealing over 20k damage. Now there are many shotguns in this game which do this kind of damage. But the way this thing works and those projectiles which then spawn upon you hitting a target which deal even more damage means this is a super efficient shotgun. And yes I know there are weapons like the stagecoach but that works way differently to this. And in my opinion that's only decent really on flak. I mean it's good on other vault hunters but they're definitely better out there in my opinion. Now I've always had a soft spot for this thing, I mean it helped me on many occasions in my early days of playing this game and it's great to see it's still one of the best shotguns in this game. I mean you heard it here first guys, listen up, I guarantee you guys a legendary version will come sooner this, you will see. Ok so moving on and next up we have a launcher which I haven't seen anybody talk about in a while now and that is the iron cannon. I decided to jump aboard the handsome jackpot and went to the fabricator to try and get this thing and I soon noticed how incredibly powerful this thing is. Look at this thing right here for Amara, 96,000 times 2 like what? That's basically 200k damage without the addition of anointments. How crazy is that? 
but also see one guy that does over 100k damage, who I do believe we can possibly get a 2x variant of that, which would be just unreal. Now on paper, I do believe this is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. I could be wrong, but unless my mind's gone blank, I do believe it is that. The only issue with this thing is though, is the fact of how much ammo it now swallows per usage. And unless you use my infinite ammo zane build, or my infinite ammo technique, both videos you'll find linked within the video description, this weapon just isn't as efficient as it once was before Gearbox nerfed it. But if you guys do want to try your luck in getting this powerhouse, as you believe you have space for it, you know where to farm it guys. Okay, so let's move on to number six on this list. And that is to the OPQ system. Now the OPQ system is an exclusive weapon to the Revenge of the Cartels event and drops from Villa Ultraviolet from the enemies of Josie Bite and Franco Firewall. So the OPQ system is a legendary version basically of the Q system, but it's better in every single way. I'm sure you've seen many, many reviews on this thing now. I mean, obviously because the Revenge of the Cartels event is currently running, so I won't go on and on about it. But dropping with many different variants which can offer up to 9.5k damage times 2 per shot per single bullet consumption, the thing is a true monster. Capable of melting through all of Mayhem 10 and overall being one of if not the best assault rifles in the game right now. The only challenger to that crown in my opinion is next up on this list. So let's move on to that. Well actually that's a lie, there's a third one too. But still, next up on the list and in at number 5 is nothing other than the Clairvoyance. Now the Clairvoyance was introduced with the Guns Love and Tentacles DLC and for the most part and in the minds of many people it's still the best assault rifle in the game. The reason being it's just stupid powerful but it acts a lot like a generic sniper does. This thing just offers way way more ammo, bigger clip sizes and just an overall better and more consistent weapon. It drops off in cryo only and does drop from crit ship on Negan Eshai on Xylargus. Now the Clairvoyance drops within many many different variants, including a masher version, but the best in my opinion you can get is one with a high mag size but which is also full auto, like this one I have right here. Damage isn't the highest of seeing on Mayhem 10, but pairing this with a decent mag size and that full auto and it is just a machine. Now this thing's pilot trick is crit shot, stick and later explode causing more damage and it just puts the icing on the cake for this weapon in my opinion. Those stuck projectiles also explode, doing additional damage, 100% damage over that standard damage, but once they explode they also ricochet to a nearby enemy, doing an additional 100% damage. So one crit shot with this weapon will see you doing an extra 200% damage over the initial shot, which is just unbelievable. So yeah, the two assault rifles in the game right now I believe you should be checking out are the OPQ system and the clairvoyance. Oh wait, I almost forgot. There's actually a third assault rifle you need to get your hands on and it's nothing other than the Sickle. Now the Sickle is a weapon that's been known to be an utter monster way before Mayhem 2.0 landed. What this thing did before then, max out around that 3k damage times 10. The Mayhem 10 version now deals upwards of 6k damage times 10, basically giving it a 100% damage increase. And it makes for this weapon to be an absolute true beast of a weapon on Mayhem 10. Now this thing drops offering all elements or none at all and drops from the Warden. I will warn you though this thing seems super rare and getting a 6k times 10 variant is even rarer. I farmed for days and was weirdly only getting the older version of 3k times 10 even though its item score was up there with Mayhem 10 weapons. And what's even weirder is the fact this was after Gearbox stated Mayhem 10 drops now should scale and match which just isn't the case for me at all. I still think there are many many issues with Mayhem 10, loot drop wise anyway. Now though this is an assault rifle, it does act a lot like a shotgun, just with loads more ammo, much better range in most cases, and its bullet spread is that of a sickle, I mean what more would you want? So go get this thing guys, you definitely won't be disappointed with the Mayhem 10 version. Ok so moving on and next up on this list we have a newcomer to the game, which arrived with the Revenge of the Cartels event, and it's exclusive to this event, and that is the Yellow Cake. Now this weapon drops from Fish Slap or Tyrone Smollens, which spawn upon the Villa Ultraviolet within that Joey Ultraviolet fight. I will mention, I posted an amazing farm for all the new Revenge of the Cartel event legendaries. If there's one you want, you will find that linked within that video description also. So yes, this yellow cake, for what it is, is probably the best all around launcher in the game right now, and definitely up there with the most powerful weapons in the game right now. In terms of that DPS output, it in my opinion has got to be either one or two in the game. Can't really think of many items that can touch this right there. 
and it's because of how quick in reality you can fire this thing. The fact that while there are also various out there which are close to 100k damage per shot, which only consume 2 ammo per shot, it's just crazy to think about. Now I created a build which I spoke about earlier when talking about that iron cannon. This is the weapon I used with that build, which you can see in the background now. This is my Zane infinite ammo build. This build alone allowed me to solo the Malewan Raid on Mayhem 10 just so so easily, just with a yellow cake. I actually surprised myself how good it was. Now this yellow cake only drops after that radiation damage, but that doesn't matter, it still damages all. And it is a weapon if you don't already have, I do insist you getting this before the Revenge of the Cartel events end. So go get this thing people, you will not be disappointed. Ok so next up and in number 2 on my list is probably not going to be a surprise to anybody because it is the Lob Shotgun. Now this Lob before Mayhem 2.0 we saw normally at around that 10 to 12k damage. Which for what it did was a top 2 weapon in the game for me. Funny enough, in my opinion that's where it stays because Mayhem 10 variants I have seen go into the damage numbers of 30k damage per shot which is just unreal. So yeah, the lob is now an utter monster. I mean, what am I talking about? It's always been an utter monster. Now to get this thing, it drops from Grave Ward, but it's also a world drop too. And it does come in any element also. Pair this with some of the new anointments and you have yourself a weapon which can't really be touched. And it's by far the second best shotgun in the game, with this and the next weapon in a class of their own. So next up, people, and lastly on today's list is nothing other than the Anarchy. Now this shotgun is a world drop upon Xylargos. So this weapon, as you can see by my variant, now comes on Mayhem 10 offering 20k damage per shot. But it doesn't end there with the Anarchy, as we know, it's all about that stacked damage. And this thing out of 10 stacks guys, as we know, which has been tested, is close to 1300% over that standard damage. Which is just absolutely craziness. And it does for in my opinion make for the best weapon in the game right now especially if you do stack it before going into a battle. And it's a weapon alone which will see you charge through Mayhem 10 not even needing a decent build behind you. It is that good. And to be honest I don't think I need to go on. Most people know what this thing is capable of and it's damage difference from Mayhem 4 to the new scaled Mayhem 10 damage levels sees this thing itself being at around 3 times as powerful than what it was. Which is a ton more when you think about it. So yeah guys, go and get this thing. Everyone should have an anarchy in their build. Now if you are a regular player of Borderlands and want to join a great community no matter the platform you play it on, you should definitely check out my Discord linked within the video description. There I have dedicated channels for trading items, LFGs and much much more. So come and join people. But yeah guys, these are my top 10 new most powerful weapons in the game right now. And on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps. And if you're new and you want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.